Snoop Dogg is here. <laughs> uh, on a pass row, Snoop claimed I wanted to bang him. Police! If I want to bang a skinny black man with braids, I'll call Alicia Keys. <laughs> Snoop's not the only musical artist on the dais. Marilyn Manson is here. Oh, I'm sorry, that's Whitney Cummings. <laughs> you know, Whitney, people in this business hate you because you're beautiful and thin. Not me! I hate you because you're a cunt. <laughs> Anthony Jeselnik is here. I'll pause for a few moments so those of you at home can Wikipedia him. It's great you're here, Anthony. What happened? Is Daniel Tosh busy getting fisted in Key West? <laughs> it's great to see my old friend Jeffrey Ross here tonight, doing what he does best, sitting and watching funny people tell jokes. <laughs> wow, Jeff, you're even uglier than you were last year. Look at that hair. Look at that mop. I've seen better hair on Susan Boyle's taint. Don't you laugh at a hair joke, Trump. Look at that helmet. What do you say to a barber to get that type of haircut? I fucked your daughter. <laughs> Situation from the Jersey Shore. You're all over television. And you have a book out. I tried ordering your book on Amazon.com. Amazon said customers who bought this book also bought a rope and a stool. <laughs> But enough about Chachi. <laughs> Let's get to the reason we're all here tonight. Donald Trump. Donald, tonight people will make fun of your looks. Fuck them! You've always gotten beautiful women. You've ruined more models' lives than bulimia. You've disappointed more women than Sex in the City too. You are the ultimate proof that money can buy good-looking pussy. <laughs> if you were broke, you'd be fucking me. <laughs> but that's all behind him now. Donald is very happy with his lovely wife, insert name here. <laughs> I joke. Donald's wife's name is Melania which is Slovenian for get that wrinkled penis off of me. <laughs> In closing, I would like to thank you, Donald Trump, for letting me make fun of you tonight. Mr. Trump, you are someone to be admired. You have overcome obstacles to become a huge success. You've put up more worthless hotels than an autistic kid playing Monopoly. Still, you have made Trump more than just a name. You've made it a brand, a brand like Mass and Gill, because you're a bloated, stinky douche. Thank you. Good night.